what my friend on talking about fits right with what Darrell just said. Adversity. Has there ever been any adversity in your life? <laughs> yes, there has. I don't have to know. Uh, I don't even have to know you personally to know there has been. I've been around here long enough to know most of you enough to know you have faced adversity. So what what's the cause of adversity? What causes problems in our life? Well, you can be living a sinful life and God trying to get your attention. But that is not by any means the only way. You can be living a righteous life to your very best. And Satan doesn't like that. So he causes adversity to come in your life. We think often of Job when we think about adversity. Job was a wealthy man that looked like had everything going for him. But Satan got permission to test Job. First God said, you can take away everything he has, but you can't you can't touch him. So Satan took away his children, everything he owned. Then Satan got permission to touch Job's body. And he was in bad shape. He had nothing left but his wife who said, you just well curse God and die. But Job said no, he was not. No matter what happened, he would worship God. Job stayed true and God gave him back more than he had to begin with. But then, I we'll want to talk a, a moment about the Apostle Paul. In 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, he describes some of the adversity that he went through. And if I could get this page where I want it. Uh, beginning in the middle of the 23rd verse, he says, in labor more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prison more frequent, in death often. Of the Jews, five times he received 39 stripes. Five different times he was beaten to the point of death. Because that whip they used with the bone fragments and glass embedded in the end of it cut your back all to pieces. Three times he was beaten with rods. Once he was stoned. And don't forget, it doesn't say it here, but he was stoned. So they thought he was dead. They left him for dead. Three times he suffered shipwreck. A night and a day he was in the ocean in the deep. In journeying often, in peril of water, in peril of robbers, in peril by his own countrymen, in peril by the heathen, in peril in the city, in peril in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, 
in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watching often, in hunger, thirst, and fasting, in cold and nakedness. And then besides these things, or without, that which comes upon me daily, the care of the church. Besides all the physical problems that Paul had, he was concerned about all these little churches that he had started. It doesn't say so here, but we know Paul spent quite a bit of time in prison. You say, what good could that be? I don't know if Paul ever asked God why, but it's okay to ask God why. Even Jesus said why. When he was on the cross, and he said, why, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So it's not, I, I've heard people say you can't ask God why, but you can't. But all those years that Paul spent in prison, you think a man that did his best to do what God told him to do. Well, why didn't God keep him out of prison? He could have. But think about the things that we have been blessed with because Paul spent that time in prison. The letters that he wrote that we have been blessed with as is recorded in our in our Bible. Instructions that we need. If Paul has still been out free and preaching, then those letters probably wouldn't have gotten written. I know that it's very difficult at times to even imagine that something good will come from the difficulty that you suffer. And to Paul, while he was in prison, that wasn't good for him. But it was good for us. So, the adversity that we face, a lot of times, are brought on by us trying to do the best we can. I'll admit that, as I said in the beginning, that if we are living in sin, God may try to get our attention because he doesn't want us to pay the price for our sin. Jesus already paid that price. And if we simply accept it, then we don't have to pay that price. But if we choose to pay that price, we never will get it paid. Not ever. Eternity is something that I've said many times we human beings cannot understand. Because everything we know is built on time and it all has a beginning and an end. Eternity has no end. As the song says, when we've been there 10,000 years, we don't have any less days than when it first begun. 
you and I can't understand that 10,000 years doesn't make a day's difference. But it's true. Think of the blessings that we can have spending that eternity with God. Think of the awfulness of those who choose to not accept Christ and then to spend that eternity in torment. Adversity will come to your life. Adversity has come to your life. But as long as we live in this world, it's likely to come back again. But don't curse God and die. Praise God for it. And even though we don't understand the power a lot of times, let God use it for somebody's good. What is there in the further before we dismiss Roy would you dismiss Thank you Lord we thank Christ for you and Jesus for this week and God for the opportunity to send us grant each of us what we need to have in 